when I started out coaching both the women's team and the men's team at Penn State, I was doing some talking because I didn't understand the game yet. And I ended up initially being a driller. And, and I said, I will bet you that uh, my men's team at Penn State, shortly after we became a varsity program, could have beaten any team in the country in a drill. But we couldn't beat them in a game or a match because I didn't understand training in terms of the specificity of training and that old uh, edict that you hear a lot now and, and hopefully we're hearing more from it uh, and of it uh, with coaches all over the place and every level and that is that game teaches the game uh, and I didn't understand that at the time and so I was talking some of the top coaches and drilling my players. We're still doing that in a lot of different areas that I see uh, and at a lot of different levels and there are there are some ways in which that is still hurting us internationally in various international competitions both at the women's and men's level uh, youth, junior and senior nationals. Uh, prime example, uh, you know after I got into coaching uh, and uh, had been doing a lot of work with USA Volleyball in coaching clinics and with FIVB uh, doing international coaches clinics uh, Colin Powers asked me uh, to be a team leader, uh, head of delegation for some youth national and junior national teams playing in different levels of competition in different countries. And as I would do that and watch our top players uh, from different schools, different colleges and universities, and uh, and club programs compete internationally and compare the athleticism with who was on the other side of the net, I felt great about where we were athletically. But one of the things I saw over and over and over again was that when our outstanding hitters faced really good solid blocking, they didn't have a clue what to do. And when I tried to figure out why in the world this was going on, it became very clear and evident to me. And, and it's one of the themes that I hit at every clinic that I do now, and with all the coaching staffs that I have worked with in recent years, and that is that we have to stop training our hitters on an open net without blockers. Our hitters that I was seeing were great at missing the block. But they would also miss the court by missing the block. Instead of understanding that their job was not to pound the ball downward toward the floor, their job when they got a set was to beat that defense in whatever way they could do it. And in many respects, against really good blocks, you had to abuse the block in order to win a point. I mean, aim for the side of a blocker's arm or off the top of the fingertips into the stands behind the court. And yet, we continue to let our hitters hit on an open net. In, in training all the time and in warm-ups we do that constantly and I cannot understand it when when you look at the specificity of training what we're doing is we're training our hitters a habit that is an ingrained habit now of trying to pound the ball down the floor to see if it will bounce 
high up into the rafters. And that doesn't work in an actual volleyball match.